the next method of depreciation is depletion method depletion means reduction in quantity of asset itself now please make a note that there is a difference between wear and tear of an asset and depletion if you remember the example of ac air conditioner where i showed you uh, a brand new ac and a ac which was used after a few years there was a wear and tear of that ac whereas depletion means there is actual reduction in the quantity of asset itself now uh, the best example of a depletion is a mine take a look at this coal mine so typically depletion method is used in special kind of assets like mines these are called as wasting assets okay also take a look at how a gold mine looks like okay it's a very rare picture we hardly get to see a gold mine so uh, how to use this method how to calculate the amount of depreciation under depletion method as usual the numerator remains same cost of asset minus scrap value divided by we usually write the life in years but this time we are going to write estimated output in units that means if you are calculating depreciation for a coal mine you are going to estimate the total coal that can be extracted from this mine you uh, people you might be using some advanced engineering techniques to make a fair estimation of how much coal is available in that mine and that will help us to calculate the estimated output in units units can be tons kilograms if it's a oil reservoir then liters okay so once you divide this by the estimated outputs in units you will not get depreciation per year but the depreciation rate per unit so if the denominator is tons you will get depreciation rate per ton of coal or gold or whatever is the kind of mine it is so depreciation for first year is equal to the depreciation rate per unit into actual extraction in first year whatever amount of a quantity of coal you extract in the first year multiplied by the depreciation rate per kg or per ton whatever is the unit you will get the total depreciation for the first year next depreciation for second year is equal to depreciation rate per unit into actual extraction of coal in second year and so on so it's very obvious that the amount of depreciation will differ every year because it's very rare that you will extract exact amount of quantity of coal every year let us have a small problem based on this method way to wealth and company purchased a coal mine for 50 crores with estimated scrap value of 20 lakhs it is estimated that the total coal available in the mine is 1 lakh tons so here the measure of unit is uh, tons actual extraction is as follows they they have given four years and the actual extractions for the for all the four years calculate depreciation for all four years now it's very clear that they have not mentioned the method of depreciation but the fact that it's a mine and they have given all the details of extraction that means by default we are going to use depletion method let us first calculate the rate of depreciation cost of asset minus scrap value divided by output in tons because the question is mentioned in tons is equal to depreciation rate per ton let us substitute the figures so 50 crores minus 20 lakhs divided by the estimated total output is 1 lakh tons given in the question so this gives us the answer of 4980 rupees per ton so this is the rate of depreciation per ton now let us calculate the depreciation for all the years using this method this is the for typical format the same format we used for previous method first year the rate is 4980 into the actual extraction of coal in the first year as given in the question is 15000 tons so 4980 into 15000 the answer is 7 crore 47 lakhs second 4980 into 13000 6 crore 47 lakh 40000 is a depreciation for second year third year 4980 into 10 10500 it comes to 5 crore 22 lakhs 90000 and fourth year into 9400 tons you get 4 crore 68 lakh 12000 depreciation so this is the way we calculate depreciation under depletion method thank you